Roger that. Thank you very much for uh, coming back to me. Just testing something out with an HT real quick and wanted to make sure I was making it into the repeater okay. I'm Mike, N2MAK. You might have noticed this orange radio in a few of my videos before. It's the Radiotity GS5B. Now, there's a lot of reviews on this already, but there's something new you can do with this radio that you couldn't do before, and that's program it and chirp. But before I show you the trick to do just that, I want to share with you my experience with the radio. The radio was a prize at a local ham fest a few years ago. Although it's pretty much sat in the box, I decided to, uh, about a year ago, take it out and leave it in my car since I don't have a permanent mobile rig. One of the nice things about this radio is it has USB charging. I can also hit local repeaters with the stock rubber duck from inside my car without any trouble. But I mostly use it just for listening. It does have Bluetooth programmability, which is really nice, especially when traveling, whether it's for work or family vacations. It makes it easy to add new repeaters and make changes to the settings. However, the interface for the app is a little bit wonky. Another thing I like about the radio is it has a rugged look and feel, and it's actually lived up to that. The last year, I've kept it in my car, and that's through the New York winters where it gets freezing cold and the hot, humid summers as well. I was excited to learn that the radio can now be programmed with Chirp. My local club has a long list of repeaters in the Finger Lakes and Western New York region, and I've used that file to program all my other HTs in Chirp, except for this radio. It just would have been too cumbersome to do it manually using the Bluetooth app. And I'm a Mac user. I didn't like the Windows program that the uh, Radiodity comes with for programming. Now to program it using Chirp, all you have to do is make sure that the Bluetooth is turned off. That's it. Otherwise you're going to get an error. I've seen a few other videos about the harmonics on this radio. I decided to bring it to Hamvention and have it tested by the ARRL. There are some harmonics there. <laughs> I mean, this is the uh, second harmonic is here. And we're at about, uh, let's see, this is uh, five. It's like about, uh, it's like about 50, 50 dB maybe, or maybe even 45, I guess. 45 on the second. And then, um, Third is here, so uh, we got five and forty, so thirty-five. So it's forty-five and thirty-five. This is Radio College. How are you doing? How you doing? Not bad at four forty. Unfortunately, it failed. I wasn't surprised, but I was a little bit disappointed. I'll still use the radio right now to listen in when I'm in the car. And the most common repeater that I use locally happens to be on 70 centimeters. So there's no issues using the radio for that. Aren't you glad I made this video? If you haven't yet, click like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment or a question down below. I'm Mike, N2MAK, 73.